topical <laughs> big question for this week. Yeah, 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 I do. So we're gonna, this, this guy came up in uh, the natural mayhem that is the Patreon this the Patreon goal this week. By the way, if you are a Patreon, enjoy. <laughs> uh, we we kind of went off a little bit, but in, we, we in talked politics. Uh, this- we talked politics. We we had a very upfront political <laughs> discussion. That is definitely one way of phrasing it. Uh, well, being that it's Super Tuesday. And we are dangerously close to having a WWE Hall of Famer be a, be a candidate for president. Uh, this week's big question is, if you could replace Donald Trump with any other WWE Hall of Famer for a presidential nomination, who would that be? Any, any, anyone, anyone have a take or something? I go, I'll go, I'll go. And this is, right. and this is not mayhem mania. We're not within the realm of, of health and possibility, right? Correct. Any okay. WWE Hall of Famer. Ultimate Warrior. <laughs> oh, that'll go. Crazy. Oh, fuck. Um, you know, I load the rocket fuel. I'm with it, right? Um, not that, I mean, You're, are you, are you with it? Are you with it? I, Are you sure you want to admit on this podcast that you're with it? I okay. At, now I'm thinking about all the things he said over the years. Yeah, you remember you remember that time where he said praying don't make the gay go away. Resetting my choice. Resetting my choice. <laughs> Resetting just step, just stepping back. All right, sorry, we'll cycle back. I got cycle one. back. Sir, cycle back. I want uh, marker marker. marker right. uh, edit that one out. All right. Um. I'm going to say Arnold Schwarzenegger. He can't. Yeah, yeah. No, Bobby, within the realm know, okay. of the big question, he absolutely can't. Yes, Just we're like going John with that. Or can't. <laughs> he can't do it. But yeah, Arnold Schwarzenegger, because why the fuck not? All right, why not, I want that. I want that. Eamon, Eamon, uh, as we discussed on Gold, you're at ground zero of Super Tuesday. <laughs> what does it mean? You're a state that can vote in Super Tuesday? Okay, sure. I don't know these terms. I'm I don't know. I, I listen to Matt's programming and I pick up stuff, okay? You fucking uninformed millennial. Yeah, well, what else is there? Uh, anyways, uh, Eamon, what, who would you pick? Uh oh. And, and I, tell me if this counts. Uh, I, I know you said, you said someone is dead, but so I can. I, Thought I could go with the person that inducted somebody that is dead on his behalf, and that's uh, Lanny Poffo. Mm. I mean, he was the genius. Okay. Uh, uh, so, so you'd rather have Lanny Poffo over the Macho Man? I was either that. Well, I didn't know you if you could pick dead people. Oh, you can absolutely pick people that are dead. Uh, I was Let's be honest. At this verse, at this place, a dead person might be a better choice. I was going to say, uh, but b- before I would pick Randy Savage, my other choice was uh, Bushwhacker Luke. <laughs> <laughs> Look those problems away. So, Mainstream Matt has joined us, um, and I, I got to think, he's got a thoughtful look on his face, and he's in the, and he's in the, the, the commander's chair there in the, in the bunker, in the Mayhem bunker. Um, who, who would you pick? Uh, I'm just trying to think about the most important quality for a presidential candidate, and it clearly the most important attribute uh, to be a successful candidate. You have to be able to cut one hell of a babyface promo. <laughs> so you have to be a great babyface promo. And I'm trying to think of someone. Uh, Wait, but is, Hogan is too is, racist. Is, is Trump? Um, <laughs> oh, he's not going to work anymore. I, but, I'm um, pretty sure that someone who's done a sex tape is not allowed. Can, can I? Can I ask? Oh, man, actually, actually, I think that's a re- <laughs> that's a requirement, right? Um, um, can we can we can we say that Trump has been cutting a heel promo this entire time? Then, yeah. I don't know. He gets pops. They pop. So. No, right. um, Matt, so everyone, Matt, Matt, oh, Matt oh, went oh, perfectly. So in the, the American, to the American nation, to smart Matt is what you're saying. <laughs> We're all giant it's, smarts. It's kind of, yeah, it's like the hit, the crowds are the raw after mania. They're too smart for their own good, and they are easily manipulated. <laughs> or, I don't know. <laughs> um, I told I told Mike earlier in the uh, chat room that um, 
Trump is basically uh, the Triple H of the uh, GOP race. He's just doing whatever he wants, and he's getting cheered for it. So <laughs> yeah, he's, 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 he's going good. over. So he's, he's bashing Rubio's head into the table, and the crowd's just saying, "One more time, one yeah, more time." Yeah, it's kind of what's happening. Little Marco, um, Roman just, Rubio. Um, all right, I'm gonna try to think. All right, I, I, all right, we. I, he does, all right, not your typical great babyface promo, but great promo. Um, Arn Anderson. Arn Anderson could cut one hell of a promo. I think he could keep the crowd fired up for a good 20 minutes. I'll take Arn Anderson right. for president. He's the enforcer. He will keep us safe. The enforcer in chief. I like it. Yeah, I like it. Hmm. All right. Uh, Antonio Garza, also at the ground zero of Super Tuesday, <laughs> is with us. Um, I can't remember where I put you over here. There you are. There's the button for you. Uh, wh- wh- who would you pick for for our Hall of Famer president? So, so we, I can choose uh, any entity that has been inducted, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, I like how you said entity. entity. Can I choose the, the whole four horsemen as my presidents? Nice. They work together. <laughs> Um, I, I think that would be. I think that would have to be a cabinet, but you'd still have to pick one person as president. No, I, don't I don't want the cabinet. I don't want the cabinet. I want the first person. I don't like JBL. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, Garza! Doug and Danny Bastion, <laughs> <laughs> the secretaries of offense. <laughs> oh my God! I remember. Yeah, that is what they're called. <laughs> they were the secretaries of offense. You guys, let's can't forget fair. Jillian Hall. No, no, that was um. Uh, Jillian came after. What was her name? Yeah, Joy. Amy Weber. No, not Joy. Uh, yeah, Amy Weber. Amy, Amy Weber. Weber. Oh, and okay. then someone shit in her back. <laughs> His name might rhyme with Blandy Blorton. <laughs> Great rhymes. Nobody will know who that is at all. No one. Wait, so are, are we going with the horsemen still? Is that your final no, answer? Gar- Garza, you would have to pick a representative for president. A representative president by committee. Well, if it, cannot, if it cannot be all together, I'm going to go for someone else. Uh, I think the United States needs a mass uh, president, so I'm going to go with no mass for us. Nice. Okay, a little diversity. Okay. All okay. Right. Yeah, I like sure. it. Sure. Sure, that'd be a first, you know. We're, we're, breaking, right. we're breaking all the barriers, you know. Uh, first black president, first woman president, first lucha president. Got it. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> it's your base. I'm a you, huge fan of this. I mean, you, you know your base at that point, right? I yeah. mean, wow. Hey, can I come back around? Oh, crap. I had it. I had it a moment ago. Oh, Roddy Piper would have been a great president. Mm-hmm. Forget hey, these. just when just when you think you have the answers, he changes the questions. Oh, <laughs> God damn it. I, I, I just thought of a better one, but... Uh... Yeah, you guys are forgetting the most presidential person in the whole thing. What's that, Bobby F. J. Town? Mr. Bobby? Bob Backlund. Oh, oh shit! Oh, that's a good one, too. See? He's the Bobby. most presidential. And he'll bring chicken wings. <laughs> <laughs> you get a chicken wing, and you get a chicken wing. And then he grabs his opponent. Instead of shaking his hand in defeat, yep. he pulls him with the chicken. Chicken winging babies. <laughs> oh, my oh. God. But when, uh, no, well, Bob Backley as well was amazing. Uh, uh, when, when you brought that up, though, so, like, I immediately thought, uh, Bobby Heenan. Oh. Yeah. Bobby Heenan would honestly be a really great candidate. Yeah, he would. Because <laughs> he's the point. most truthful person, even though he's an asshole. Got to be fair to play. <laughs> he was the one who saw Hogan for what he is all along. Mm-hmm. He'd, be, he'd be great at identifying threats to our country. <laughs> <laughs> um, Wheels in the chat room says Tony Atlas. That would yeah. be that would be the first sleeveless president, <laughs> right? <laughs> Although Tony Atlas seems a little bit too close to idiocracy for me, a little oh. too close. Yeah, a little too close. <laughs> hmm. It was a terrible Tony Atlas laughing. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh God! It could be from Abraham Washington D.C. Oh, all right, that was bad. <laughs> oh, wait, do we, do we lose Sorg? <laughs> sorry, sorry, just interesting stuff coming up. Plus, <laughs> plus my oh, oh, geez, <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. we're slinging you fucking gold over here. No, 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 and my headphones became unplugged for a moment there, so oh, I kind of okay. lost you. I thought um, you were on WWE. But, um, okay, all right, where are we at? <laughs> I, thought, I thought you were watching Biggie's Snapchat again. <laughs> 
<laughs> he's actually touting the company. So, big now. question. Let us know who you would you would pick you you would uh, uh, pick for that. All right, let's go around to. I like how none of us said Jesse Ventura. The, <laughs> old, the only yeah, real yeah, viable option choice. is he a <laughs> is he a yeah he's in there okay. Mm. Nobody said Bruno either. Could it be because he's he said what do he say if uh, if Bernie doesn't get the nod uh, yeah. he's running. So we could have two former Hall of Famer or two Hall of Famers. I tagged, I tagged Jesse Ventura. <laughs> Dropping Ventura versus Hillary. Oh, oh my God! No, he, talk about mayhem mania. Three way <laughs> dance. Three way dance, dude. If it ends up, if it ends up Trump and Jesse against Hillary, we will have to dedicate a politics section of the show. We will. We will absolutely have to, and we'll have to do it like wrestling. Uh, I was gonna say, how much money would it take, uh, or how much money would you bet on WWE redoing the? Uh, that really terrible Trump Rosie O'Donnell match that they did a long time ago. Oh, with Hillary Clinton. Yeah. Um, a thousand percent, and actual Jesse Ventura would be the referee. Yeah. What are What are the odds of Jesse Ventura calling Donald Trump McMahon? McMahon. Two hundred percent, Bobby. Two hundred percent. Guys, as if we need more mayhem.